Welcome back to the Project 2 Rans S21 build. I'm glad you're all here. I've got the top skins in place with Clecos and verified that there's still no twist between the tail cone and the cage. We're all good there. I've now run the trim motor wires along the other side in the same way that I did the magnetometer wires in the last video. The rear window angle supports are in place and it's time to fit the rear cargo panels. I've installed the nut plates in the aft section of the cage. And secured the aft end of the right hand floor support. I measured that and just repeated those steps for the other side. Then I fit up the upper side covers. With those clamped in place, I marked the hole locations with a sharpie up through the holes already present in the middle longeron. I then removed the panels and drilled the holes undersized with a number 40 bit. Clamp everything back in place and final drill with the 30. Here I'm attaching the left and the right lower panels together along with securing the floor stiffeners underneath. To get the width, I simply set them in place and mark the overlap required on the front edge. Once back outside the plane, I just transfer the same measurements to the rear side. This ensured that my front edge remained straight. I also bent the edges of the panels down a bit at this time. I set the baggage floor in place and marked the edge of the angled floor supports. And when I got it back on the table, was able to locate those four hole locations. If I remember right, it was four and a quarter inches, four and a half of center. I drilled through the floor with a number 40 in these four side locations and set the floor back in the aircraft and then drilled through to the supports. I also marked the holes through the nut plates along the front edge at that time. With the floor back out, I upsized all the holes as needed and installed the four nut plates on the floor supports and finally secured it down with the screws.
There are some remaining screws to be located on each edge through the upper side skins, but I wanted to wait until I fit the Station 4 closeout to see what things look like before doing that. Here I've roughly fit the closeout area. My goal is to make this fit as nice as I can. Without locating those last few holes in the floor and the side skins, I still can adjust the curve in the lower corners as well as that angle up on the windowsill area. I'm going to end this video here, so make sure that you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss the next update. As always, thanks for watching.